In part two of sending email photos directly from within Photoshop 11, we're going to use Photo Mail, which basically allows you to integrate your photos right within the body of your email message and allows you to have and customize uh, stationery. So let's get started. As before, we're going to select the images that we want to email. As you can see in this slide, there are three pictures that we've selected to email. In the upper right hand corner of the main organizing window, we're going to click on the down arrow to the right of the share button. Then we're going to select photo mail from the drop down list. In this tutorial, we are assuming Adobe email service code has previously been received and entered. We get a very similar screen as we saw when we were just emailing photos as attachments. If the organizer contains captions for the selected photos, you can add them automatically to the email as shown by the check mark about mid-screen. Again, we will just send the email to ourselves to be forwarded later to the people we ultimately want to get it. And we'll click Next to continue. Note we have assumed here that your email address is in PSC 11's contact list. Here's where we're going to design our stationery. First, you can see the All Occasions stationery has been expanded and there are multiple frames and rectangles that can be chosen. Click on one of them and that particular frame in this case will be displayed or your email will be shown using that particular frame in this case. Again, what we've done here is we've selected all occasions, that's expanded, and frames 1 is being previewed. To preview another stationary category, we'll just expand it and then select the stationary from within it in order to see how it looks. You can enter a caption if desired underneath one of your under ETH each one of your pictures. And we'll click Next Step to continue. Here is where you can really customize your particular layout, etc. and sample that as you do so. You can sample and select background, the actual layout of how the pictures are going to appear, their sizes, the text that will be used on any captions, etc. and borders. Some of these stationary that uh, we may select does not allow customizing of all these, especially the background, which can also be selected here. Then we're going to finally click on Next. And again, you are put into your standard email program where you could choose to delete some of the uh, canned subject and the canned message body, but we'll hold off that until later. When you click on the send button there, the email is sent and as we've laid it out, it's going to arrive in your inbox because we are sending it to only you. That concludes this demonstration and thanks for watching.